One thing I like to use is something called a decision matrix. A decision matrix is a tool to help people understand two possibilities and how best to prepare for it. In this case, we're talking about the collapse of a dollar and the paradigm that it supports. In the first scenario, if nothing happens and the paradigm continues and the person does exactly what they've been doing, life will continue as is, slipping further down the chain every year. This paradigm does not benefit those that just blindly go along with the system. If nothing happens, the dollar doesn't collapse, and you are aware and prepared, you will learn to view the world as it is, and you will be able to be in the right place at the right time. Those that are contrarian investors have profited tremendously even though the dollar paradigm has still continued. The next scenario is, what if it happens? What if the dollar does collapse? What does the world look like then? Well, if you're not prepared, you are most likely going to be historical roadkill. Those that did not see this coming will be totally unprepared for the world that is about to come upon them. If you are aware and prepared, and it does happen, not only will you be able to survive, but thrive. You will be able to create generational wealth not only in terms of real assets, but also the most important asset of all, being able to think and staying ahead of the curve. Now let's put some percentages to this decision matrix. What do you feel the chances are that it happens? In my mind, throughout all my experience and all my education, I know that it is 100% mathematically inevitable. Even if you only believe that it's a 1% chance that this could happen, you still put your seatbelt on every time you get in the car, don't you? The same kind of dramatic impact you would have in a car accident is the same kind of dramatic impact society and the world is going to have when the dollar collapses. Your ability to question and think and get ahead of the curve is your seatbelt. It's going to save you from tremendous amount of stress and pain. The worst thing I could think happening is being able to see it coming and not have done anything about it. I don't know how people are going to live with themselves after that.